Yo, what's going on? We are at LAX, me and the big homie, Troublesome. Yes, sir. Troublesome. Now, we've known each other. I've known this guy for so many years, and it's I think it's like, can't even call it frequently where we run into each other, bro. I, I gotta say maybe at least once a year, though. Yeah. And, you know, some maybe, you know, with the pandemic, we had to, like, skip a, a year. A little break. But you've been doing a lot of stuff, man. I I, I know you've, you've been involved with the acting, uh, you know, t t tell us a little bit more about exactly what's going on in your career these days. Appreciate you, man. Well, first and foremost, shout out to ODM, man. My, my A1 from day one. This guy's a legend in the game, man. I appreciate all the love and support. So, um, I, it's been really good. You know, COVID messed up a lot of stuff, man, as you guys know. A lot of our schedules got canceled. Movie projects got canceled. All kinds of stuff. Right. But, you know, we may do. Made it happen. You know, we are, we're hungry. We're, hung, you know, we're hungry. We're grinders. So, you right. know, we get down. Right. But uh, yeah, man, I got a I got a really big film project coming up with Snoop and uh, CJ Mack. I can't talk too much about it, but uh, the project is done. They're shopping it as we speak. Uh, it's a monster, man. It's gonna be a monster situation. You guys know. I mean, Snoop's not even a, he's not even a star anymore. He's a brand now, you know. Is it me or Snoop is like into everything, he's anything got, and everything? It's like he's an octopus, bro. He's got like eight hands on there. <laughs> in every single situation possible, bro. So. I'm Facts, feeling really man. blessed to be a part of that, man. I got a major co-star on it, so you're going to see a lot of me in there. Got a new album uh, just about wrapped up. It's called uh, West Coast Affiliated. It took a long time to come out. I'm just waiting for two more features. This might be my last album, man. We're going to see. But uh, I definitely went all in on it, man. And uh, it's just this has got a lot of content that's amazing, man. How do you find it. time to juggle the two, music and acting? Uh, well, you know, they coincide, bro. I mean, the entertainment world is, is what it is. You know, uh, music, acting, videos, it all goes together. Basically, I've been doing music for 16 years, I've been a paid artist for 16 years, and I've been a union actor for 13 years, so. Do you ever take a break in, in regards to both of those? Like, do you say, all right, I'm gonna go act, and I'm gonna stop with the music, or does it ever stop? You know what I'm saying? Or are you doing? Are you juggling both at the same? You know, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go where the money's at. You guys, know, right, you guys know me, bro, look. Look, fuck you, pay me. I live by that shit, okay? So, yeah, I go where the money's at, man, but typically I love the acting stuff. That's where my passion's at. It was music first, but the acting, man, it's just, uh, I love the longevity, you know what I'm saying? You, right. could be, you could be 80 years old, booking three, four gigs a week. So, I mean, it's just, I just love the longevity, man. You know, music you're going to do for so long, you know? One thing you uh, that you shared with me yeah. uh, before we hopped on camera, yep. and I think this is the most genuine, most realest thing that you can ever, how you, you can be is, is during the pandemic, we all lost gigs, you know what I'm saying? We all, you know, our shows yeah. got cut. You know, my DJing got cut, just my touring, yeah. X, Y, and Z. Yep. So to make extra ends, you know, we ought to, you know, do certain things that, you know, just, if you, especially if you got families, you got a household. I mean, yeah. you shared with me that you ended up going back into your first career, was it? Yeah, well, like, you know, before the entertainment stuff, yeah. So any of you guys that know me in the industry know that, I, that I'm a go-getter, I'm a grinder. I, I sell like crazy, you guys know that. Whether it's my clothing line, whether it's my CDs, right. booking shows, whatever it is, you know. So, uh... I just went back to you know something that I did a long time ago, man. And I, you know, I'm right, right now I'm doing the corporate sales rep thing, so it's going really good, man. Very lucrative. I'm not even embarrassed to say it, man. You know, when COVID hit, right? 23 shows on the schedule canceled. Two movies in pre-production canceled. So it's like I had to figure it out. Are you in a position to help others right now? Or are you still getting yourself lifted off the ground? Uh, you know, I, I would say a little bit of both because I, there is a couple guys that I do help out. Um, I just did a feature for. A young artist that we're shooting a video for next week. Uh, been looking out for him probably since the gate because you know he's only got one other person really looking out for him. And right. you know, there's only you know I know me coming up, I had to fight for a lot of everything that I was doing, and I didn't really have the tangibility, you know, to get that kind of help. So that's something that I would love to do. I know a lot of people. Everybody knows who I am. I have a lot of connections. So right. I mean, by all means, you know, if, if you're my people. It's not a matter of, it can't help you. It's a matter of how we're gonna make it happen. And talk about it, man, because back in the day, it's too easy nowadays <laughs> to get your music out there, Bro, man. Let me tell you something, man. We didn't have social media. We couldn't get online and try to get followers. We had to go get followers by by, by 105 degree weather, standing in line outside uh, the shows. Preach on Pushing my CDs, bro. I pushed a hundred bucks in a line outside the Arizona Super Show before I'd even go in. Then I go in and I flip another hundred. And then once my clothing line came out, I flip a hundred pieces of clothing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all about interaction. And I, I actually, I still run my program like that. I still press a hard copy. I still do everything, you know, everything original because that's a work for me. Right. I funded my whole music career by myself. You know what I'm saying? No outside money, no, no investors, excuses. no excuses, Nothing. no social None. media. None, bro. You know, you're your 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 biggest uh, challenge, man, right yeah. there. And, and that's the 
first challenge to get out there and, and get your hustle on. I think a lot of people don't know that or they forgot about that with this day. And, and don't get me wrong, technology is still easy, but like you said, man, nothing's better than than, Organic. than, than organically, person Facts. to person, man, being up in people's faces. And you've always been that dude. I was telling my, my boy Moons, I said, Troublesome's a good dude. He's always been up a few times that we've run into each other. He's always made his way out to say, what's up, ODM? Respectfully, how oh, you doing? Course, and, and the only thing he ever asked for Familia. was a picture. That's it. He yeah. never asked out for any hand. That's for us said, to update, you know, because we, had, we hadn't flipped yeah. one in a while, you know? <laughs> if you haven't watched my latest project, go check out The Tax Collector with Shia LaBeouf. I was casted as Spanky, played George Lopez, right hand man in that movie, so check that out. Shout out to David Ayer for that opportunity. And uh, yeah, man, just, just keep hustling, keep grinding, man. Um, if I could ever do anything to, you know, to help or to support or anything, and it, it's reasonable and it makes sense, I got you.